Alrighty, everybody. Welcome back to Blender Sith. I know we're late again, but um, you know what can I say? <laughs> it's busy, 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 and I'm behind as usual. <clears throat> so what's new? Okay, as you saw by the thumbnail, this uh, it, it's it's hard to get away from this. Either people visiting the channel are asking for it, or people off of Google are asking for it, and that's why we're here to starting out at this location first, or someone's asking for it, either on Reddit or a Quora, a Quora I guess Quora, Quora, but yeah, Quora, or Reddit, or any of the other places online, Twitter, yeah, <laughs> I tried getting away from this, but it still comes up, so we're going to go over it, uh, this is what, probably the third time, making my, everybody wants to know how to make money with Blender, and there's lots of ways to make money, selling assets, selling K-Packs, uh, selling models on, you know, 3D Ocean, Turbo Squid, CG Cookie, you know, there's 10 or 20 or 30 of them, um, and Vado, um, but you get the point. Basically assets, you know, you start out small, modeling chairs and tables, you know, furniture and stuff, it's really, interiors are really popular for 3D artists, and they don't want to model their own, you know, chairs and beds and stuff like, you know, they, they want to buy your kits or they want to buy models off of the model site. The people that love modeling are the ones that provide that. Now, there's varying uh, quali uh, qualities, you know, of models. I won't get into that. But, um, every everyone sells, you know, even even the, the bad models and the good, you just get different clients. That's all. You know, for those of you that are making better quality models, you know, better quality renders, more professional renders, you're getting the better clients and the better job opportunities and, you know, all that stuff. And those of you that aren't are, you know, getting the lesser ones. Uh, your models probably should be cheaper and your price, you know, your sales should show that. But anyway, one place that all beginners should start out, and I say this over and over, because your modeling is not going to be great, your texturing is not going to be great, and everything. But the one place that it really doesn't matter, you know, the, well, the biggest thing, as long as you're good at animating, your animating has got to be fairly decent, is in 3D porn. Because there's a lot of bad 3D porn out there, but it's still so. You put it on Pornhub, you put it on X, you know, uh, all the, I won't name them all, but, you know, you put them on all the porn, all the porn sites, and, now, each video on each site is going to get in the high 50 plus thousand views or over six figure, six numbers, you know, 100,000 plus. And that's just the way it is, you know, even the bad ones, you know, because people are going there to see porn, you know, <laughs> they're not going there to see, you know, fabulous model, you know, 3D models and, you know, you know, all that, you know, they're not looking to spend, you know, twenty thirty dollars on a on a living room or you know something like that or a you know a high-end render um that does that does happen but we'll get into that in, in a minute but uh th this is just here i'm starting here to show you how far blender sith has come in a short amount of time and th i also do you know i also teach people how to you know well i'm mean, gonna teach people how to make money online basically in a lot of ways blender is one of them but and also starting their own 3D, we call them 3 I'm stuck on 3D now, and starting their own YouTube channel. I got 12 of them, so <laughs> I know a little bit about starting a YouTube channel. I've, you know, started 12, so I, I know the process from absolute nothing to, you know, building it up, and this is where the 3D porn has gotten so far. Um, I, I search making money 3D porn, and I'm number one on that. And, you know, that's mainly because I got making money online with 3D porn. But the thing is, I have making money 3D porn up here. And making money and 3D porn, all four words are in the title. And in my title. And in my description. And that's the first clue about YouTube SEO and Google SEO. Your title when you make a YouTube, when you make a YouTube video, your title, your search keyword that you're targeting, has to match in your title, 
and in your description. The whole world, you know, if you if you if you've got make money with three D porn, or even make money three D porn, you know, they all got to be there. With won't with probably won't be there because YouTube's algorithm uh, pulls that out. You know, they pull out all the with and the the and the as. You know, all those words they pull out. Because they, they basically only want nouns, uh, adjectives sometimes, but, you know, that's the way that goes. But all your words need to be there. You can't have make money 3D. A person is searching make money 3D porn because someone that has make money 3D porn or even make money with 3D porn, even though Google's going to pull it out. But anyway, either one, when they put in their keywords on the YouTube description page, anyone that does that, that has all four of them in there, is going to outrank you. And no telling how far down, you know, in the YouTube listing you'll be if that happens. All because you missed one word. You know, instead of putting make money 3D porn or whatever, you know, you're targeting, um, you know, you put make money 3D, they're going to, you know, YouTube algorithm is going to say, well, okay, YouTube make money 3D is kind of broad. Uh, you know, someone searching for make money 3D porn kind of like narrows it down more. And so those will rank much, much higher than you. But anyway... Um, this here goes, when you click on this, we'll open this up. This is the one that it goes to on Blender Sif, my dad's 3D. And I'll get into this in a minute, but this is, you know, the model, you know, and the clothing and everything. You can make money on all of this. You can make money on the model herself by, by creating your own model. And I've got a bunch of add-ons and, and uh, dad's that helps me customize a model any way I want. I mean, I can cut every single muscle on, on her body. And also her face. I got a face add-on that does every single muscle, every cheekbone, you know, every dimple, you know, every eye, everything. All the muscles on her body and everything. And so I can make a model look at any anyway, Because you get, you get a lot of people re giving you a request that they want a 3D model that you know, looks like uh, Beyonce or Rihanna, you know, or Jennifer Lopez, you know, and they're willing to pay you for it. You know, and if you can model that, if you can make a Daz model, and this is what I use Daz uh, 3D for. You know, I use Blender for my modeling, but I, on, I only use Daz to create characters. You know, so this way, because that's, a, that's what, the, <laughs> to tell you the truth, that's what this uh, uh, is, you know, specialized at is the characters and it saves me the you know the the manual modeling or sculpting you know whichever way you want to do it and retopologizing and you know all that stuff it saves me all of that trouble which is a lot of time and so if i can save time then that's you know much better for me but that's all i use this for and clothes i'll start the clothes here and everything but i'll export it out to blender to finish it and all that this is the video you know we're looking at 21 70 views right now 2170 views on that plus the other uh porn i got two other uh videos on there also that come up with their search on uh 3d porn but i've also listed here on render Erotica, but we don't need to see that um i, I do have them open but i've kind of like filtered these uh out already you know so I don't show anything too lewd. Uh, we're right here. Do people make money from SFM porn? And I ask source porn maker. There's also SFM porn, which is sor uh, source form uh, maker. But that that's you know getting you know people. That's getting into where people are interest actually interested in doing it. You know, not really someone that's kind of, if you're still watching this video. You know, it's not really for you unless you're getting serious about it. But anyway. This is a post that I did uh, some months ago. I forgot. Uh, it's down here at the bottom. Yeah, it's about seven months ago. Um, and see, I got upvoted. One upvote uh, so far. But, um, you know, and it's, it tells it, it's telling them, you know, I, you know, create 3D porn. You know, it's good to get started in 3D porn, if you're if you basically learning, because you can pretty much master Blender if you stick with it, because in making a 3D porn scene, you know, you're going to go through, it, you're going to go through it all. You're going to go through the modeling, <coughs> the texturing, the animating, the rigging, 
um, you know, everything. Nothing's really going to be left out. Compositing, you know, if you want your video to come out looking good. And, uh, you know, composition, because you're going to have to blend, you know, the girl into a scene, you know, whether, you know, it's inside or outside or in a forest or whatever, you know, the better your lighting and all that stuff is, you know, the better your render is going to be. But anyway, you get the, uh, you get the idea of this. So we're going to go ahead and close this. We pretty much went over that. And this is all over. Here it is, CG Society, how to make money using your 3D skills, you know. And in all of these, you know, everything that I t tell people is, has come up, you know, selling model, you know, selling 3D models on the, on the you know, sites and stuff. Porn always comes up. People know it. And this is all over the Internet. You know, look at the co comments. And so people, you know, are sending everyone everywhere. So, yeah, it, you know, you might not think it's a big, a big topic on the Internet, but, yeah, it's kind of big. And Patreon, uh, here a few years ago, Patreon tried cutting the modelers and stuff, the animators and stuff that were creating 3D porn, and that's pretty much how they make their money, by because they get sponsors. You know, they sell they sell, uh, you know, Patreon levels and stuff for, you know, different, you know. Well, you, know, you guys know how Patreon works. Different levels. You, you get a little bit at the dollar level, a little more at the $5 level, a little more at the $10 level, you know, until, you know, you get one-on-one -on -one consultation with, the, you know, the person, or you get high-res, you know, 4K, uh, you know, pictures of your, you know, favorite girl. You know, they'll make your celebrity. You know, they'll, they'll make your favorite celebrity you want and everything, you know, particular pose or, you know, whatever you want. You know, those that come in at, you know, like the 25 or $50 level, but there's people that buy them, you know. <laughs> Not many, but, you know, you don't need many, at, you know, at $25, $50 a pop. You know, these, this is all over the Internet. And this here, this is my uh, mega storage area. I don't really give links off of this or anything. This is my backup storage because i got so much crap. Um, if I go over here. You know, you can see, you know, I got B footage. Um, this is for my uh, film channel. You can see it right here, poor filmmaker. But uh, I, I got movies. Over here, sex plane. Um, you know, there's courses. You know, there's all kinds of stuff in here. But NSFW, not suitable for work. But um, this is in the Blender section. And... This is from years and years ago, mainly uh, Effect 3D. Um, that's what started it out for me. Oh, I don't know how many years. I don't know how long ago I came across this series. But um, it was like a year or so after he put it out that I found it. And, you know, because people ask me, you know, how did you get started? You know, where did you learn? You know, you've been doing this for a, a long while. You know, and there's not a whole lot out there even today, you know. So where did you come across it, you know, so many years ago? You see some of these tutorials here. See, this is this is an older Blender version right here. You can tell by looking at it. You know, this is, this is like, you know, 2.79 probably. Could be 2.6 or, you know, somewhere in that area. Now, you can see this is even an older, older you know, here we're, you know, into 2.8 or higher. But these are all the, you know, things that, you know, I've used. Uh, Mickey 3DX, you know, tutorials, you know. I've got orgasm sounds here. That's sound effects for my uh, videos and rigid 3D tutorials. You know, he's like uh, affected 3D over here. Both of these guys. Most everybody you're watching now on 3D porn sites, if you're watching 3D porn, uh, these two guys right here, rigid 3D and affected 3D, more than likely they've got their start from these two guys right here, and. You know, which is exactly that. Back then, it was a start. They don't have... Let me look at effect. What do I have in here? Um, so, his collection is like four, like, like five uh, videos on Daz, mostly. You know, not, he doesn't really get into Blender. What do I have from Rigid? Come on. Uh, I got a zip right there. Oh, that's a face creation. Okay. Audio tutorial. Okay, he's he's editing, showing teaching, showing you how he edits his audio for his porn movies and that and that right there. But yeah, he doesn't have a 
So this is how we started out. For all you guys complain, you know, that, oh, well, I'm not, I can't learn. There's not enough out there. <laughs> Look, dude, this is what, right here, this is what Rigid has out, and this is what Affected has out. I think I got a couple more from Affected, though, on my hard drive. But, um, yeah, we didn't start out with a lot. And, you know, that's how it is with a lot of things. You know, you're not going to learn every single thing, no matter what you get, even if it's just 3D modeling. You know, you're going you know, to have to learn things on your own because you're going to have to, you know, mo you're going to have to model, you know, a certain item or a certain angle or get a certain look at something more than once. And uh, there's not going to be tutorials on that particular thing. And if you want to search, you know, YouTube for it, you know, then good luck going down that rabbit hole um, and, and trying to narrow it down your search and find exactly what you want. Um, by the time you by the time you do find what you want, if if you do, you probably could have modeled the damn thing already long ago. Let's move on. So you might say, what do I actually do when I get into modeling? Well, that's what we're going to look at right now. And what kind of mod what kind of money? can I possibly be looking at and that's what we're going to, the two last things that we're going to cover in this long tutorial probably by now but anyway this is here for like I said I've been getting requests still for these but um and this is on renderosity um, it's a it's a more tame channel than renderotica <laughs> but uh, I don't want to I don't want to take a chance on showing you know anything too lewd Try to be nice to YouTube as much as I can without getting any strikes. I already got strikes on Facebook. I, I've been banned 24 hours on Facebook uh, like a week ago or something. So, <laughs> yeah, um, I'm a bad boy. This is what you're going to be looking at. And this, and this person is selling this, by the way. Where, Where is it? Right here. $19.55. But it's on, it's on a end of summer sale right now for 30% off. You can pick it up for sixteen thirty-eight until what does he say? Uh, until August thirty-first. So the rest of this month, it's going to be on thirty percent sale. But he's selling this bowling alley for twenty bucks, basically. You know, forget the sale because you know this is going to be available to twelve months a year. You know, so most for the most part, it's going to be twenty dollars. You know, when once you get it modeled and get it up there, and look, this is not all that killer. You know, this is not, this is not all, you know, the, 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 you know, the balls, the chairs, you know, you know, you don't have to be the most killer 3D person out there to put this kind of scene together, but you do need to know, you do need to, you know, do know, because look at how shiny the floor is, and these, you know, right here, this, all these gutters, you know, and everything, now, you gotta understand that, you know, <laughs> these are things that you new people gotta learn. You don't got to do all of these. See all of these, all of these right here, right here. You know, you know, you you split it in half, right down the center of the of this right here. You split this in half and split the other side in half. Well, not this one because you got this center wall, but these right here. You now you can split these in half. Do one, and then copy and paste them, array them, bam, 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 like that. And you get the whole thing. Then once you get them all arrayed. Then you can go back in your, you know, you're like, look, I want columns, you know, every four lanes. Okay, so then, you know, this this row of columns right here and this row of columns right here, you know, you delete and, you know, put in new geometry right there to put in, you know, this column and, you know, and this, you know, walkway right here. And once you get that, you can copy this and join it over here to this side. You know, you modeled it once. Now you're going to just join it, you know, Split right here these lanes. There's a, two or three different ways you can do this, and this is how you. This is what you pick up when you start modeling. Um, when you start modeling, you know you might find a different way to do it than I'm telling you to do it, but you know whatever fits. That's that's what you know. That's what why you need to get modeling because how you learn is how you learn. You know, but this is just a simple scene, and this guy's got a whole like I don't know. I think he's got like four or five pages. But you see right here, he's got a ball return, a bar counter. Oh, by the way, let's look. Let's take it. We've already seen this right here, I think. And see, here's the, you know, like a like a booth in a uh, in a restaurant, if you will. 
you know, a corner booth and stuff, but, you know, a little table, carpet, you know, really not nothing too spectacular, you know, all this stuff here, like the centerpiece right here, all most of the model at once, <clears throat> and this, array it after that, you're done, you know, a lot of this is just arraying, you know, do one lane, then array it, do one of these right here, then array them, do one table and put these put th this round table and this square table into a k-pack or a, a kit bash same with these chairs and stuff because you'll reuse you'll really use these in other scenes and stuff and so and you won't even have to model them because they're already modeled and then you just got to pull them into your scene then and after you do you know after you spend six months or so modeling scenes like this and you know you'll end up with an asset library where your modeling is cut down to like 50 percent but let me see do we need to oh and here's the bar you know and these look at these bar look at these bottles you know this could be all better but you know <laughs> 20 bucks again and he's selling these you know he's selling these things because you got to understand like right here or actually let's use this one this is a better angle now I'm getting into photography and composition, but you know this one right here. Um, he just needs this look, you know, because this is not what's going to make the money for him. He's going to put women in here. Now they could be naked, they could be half naked, they could be, you know, in bathing suits or uh, in underwear or whatever. You know, whatever he decides, you know, scene to to make here is what he's going, and that's the money shot for this scene. He knows this. When the women get in here and he sets them what way he wants to set them or whatever scene he's making or anything and that's what this is going to be about and that's what he'll use this whole model for He'll sp he might spend there's been people that I, that I know that have spent money on a whole uh, scene like this you know a whole kit like this just for one shot like this just to get this one shot out of it because they like this look, this look. They like the framing of it, and they like this view going into the corner and everything. They might not like they might not like this one because it, you know it, it's not really a corner. The focal point, you know, and all that is not what they're looking for. But this is what you know the the, the darker colors, you know, the lighter colors, top and bottom, you know, and all that. You know, this in here is a different kind of company. Now there there could be someone that likes this look, but anyway. We're getting into other, you know, well, here, he put a girl in this thing. Uh, not a good one, but he put one in there. But anyway, now you get the point. Let's, uh, we can go ahead and close that one. And here's, oh, this is a store, Rihanna's store. Um, she doesn't do the characters. She does clothing. This is just pure clothing right here. You know, eight bucks, seven bucks, nine bucks, five bucks. You know, not that expensive. But sells a lot of them. You know, 70% off, 50% off, and everything. But look at all these, you know, they, I don't know how many. Go, can we go to the end here? How many pages does she have of clothing? As you can see, she's been doing this for a while. See how many pages she actually has in her store. Nope, they want you to go one by one. Yeah, you know, that's a marketing thing. They want you to see everything first. Yeah, you know, different looks. You know, over here we got leather and lace and all that. Then over here we got the schoolgirl look with ponytails and glasses. You know, and this is why you got to understand what your clients or customers might be looking for. You know, here we're getting kind of racy. Here we're getting kind of like cyberpunk or steampunk. You know, either you could go either way with that one. But um, now here we are getting into pink, red, and white outfits. You know, getting into another kind of area there. But um, you know, you gotta anticipate. You know, your your clients and what they're looking for, and they'll give you feedback. You know, they'll buy some stuff from you. You know, oh, I like this and I like that. But you know, we we could use a little more of the. You know. Or why don't you do this? Or why don't you do that? You know, and this is again where your blender knowledge has got to be on par, and you know maybe also maybe some of your dad's knowledge, depending on what they're requesting. You know, because they're telling you what they want. You know, and you should be able to provide it. You know, that's what they're you know 
members on your Patreon for. You got to be able to figure it out. You know, whatever they what they're whatever they're asking for, whether it's character wise or modeling wise and stuff. You know, you need to be able to figure this out and and do and go do it on your own. Let's jump over here to here. Oh, now look. Let's go go back. That's the Patreon stuff. Now this is you know when you get a little better. You know this I've showed you this before the Daz, but what I want to show you is look at these. You know all of these right here. You know you can tell right here this is an environment. You know these little see right here you got cloth. You know female. It's a person. It's uh, Genesis eight and Genesis eight one. You know all this down here will tell you. What it what it is without even you know look if you're wondering, okay is this the character or am I buying the clothes or what? Just look down here. You can tell, it's a it's a person and it's clothes. That's what you're buying here for Genesis eight one and Genesis eight, and it's a Daz original. That's what this blue one here is for. You know look this is where you're getting into a little bit better modeling. Uh, let's take a look at one, so you guys can get a look. I've showed you these before, but. You know, not everybody has seen my previous ones. No, this is the modeling. You know, you, you know, you look at this. This is, you know, in my opinion, you know, everyone on the discords that I'm on, you know, and everything like that, you know, you don't got to be, you know, Master Xeon or Blender Bros, you know, or to do this kind of, you know, you can do this stuff, you know, and, and get away with it, you know, and porn. And you can perfect your modeling right here. You know, doing the porn and everything, and make your make money. You know, so you can get more add-ons. You know, and get better and do do things and learn more about your modeling and stuff. You always be improving. That's the thing. You know, when you make a scene, go. You know, after you're done, and you, you know, and everything, judge it. You know, judge. Go back. You know, or maybe lighting could be better back in here. You know, not as strong, but some accent lighting, like these, this corner right here. You know, like I could have had these orange or, or lights or whatever these are you know a little bit brighter and you know put them on all of these right here uh, actually it doesn't look like lights they look like leather but anyway you know you're looking to improve your seat like right this railing right here this railing could have a little more light on it so we can de distinguish you know the form here going you know these contours and everything and the more of the wood grain instead of this little bitty you got this little bitty part right here coming off that monitor but it'd be it'd be nice if we you know like a piece from these lights right here if we could have a little bit more light on the top of this all the way down and this back here too because after all you got lighting up here but to see for some reason it seems like the lighting is going just straight down right here onto this spot and that's it not nowhere else you know when it should be it should be going in a V pattern like this you know we do got light going all the way over here, apparently, but it just doesn't seem to be going the same way this way. You know, he he didn't want to show light. He wanted to like draw an end of it into it right here, <laughs> and make it all go this way. Everything is pointing you to these doors, basically, or force fields or whatever they are. Um, and this, this monitor could be a whole lot better than that. You know, but anyway, you get the point. What I'm you know what I'm putting across here. I, you know, I, I, we might not make it, you know, through all of these, but, you know, you get the idea. And, you know, right here, uh, okay, well, we were right there. But you see these backdrops, look at this one here. Is he selling? No, that, this, is, this is closed, too. No environment, so the environment's not there. This, you know, his hair, I knew, because he highlighted the hair in the picture. And that's why, you know, you can see right here the, the person with the hair. <clears throat> that's why I knew he'd be selling the hair and um, probably the clothes. They usually put the clothes with the hair. But I knew the hair was going to because you can tell how much, you know, it stands out. You know, it wraps in front of her and it takes over the picture. You know, and this is, you know, again, we're getting into composition here and everything. You know, for, for those of you that are interested, you can, you know, you can pick up a lot more in the Blender Bros uh, Rendering University. You know, they go over, you know, rendering and, you know, they got coaching and they go over composition, you know, how to light your scene and, and all that and everything. All, even though it's not porn related, but 
you know, that's what you're making here. You're making a scene. You know, everything that you learn in their course and everything about lighting and composition and everything, the uh, same applies, you know, to your scene. You know, you're going to have a scene with a character or a main focus, you know, and everything. And, you know, you'll get into depth of field and, you know, all that stuff. But, um, you know, look, you know some of these, you know, are really good. Some of these are not. <laughs> so, um, like 13 bucks, though. He's asking 13 bucks, you know, for this render. But, uh, yeah. You know, this is, this, this is the whole thing. Now let's get on, you know, did we cover this? Yeah, we covered her. Now let's get on to the money. This is where they're making their money. They post their videos on Pornhub, like I said, Pornhub or whatever. Um, Pornhub and uh, xnxx.com are two big ones and you know you, you end up getting you know you put one video up you end up getting 50 plus thousand views on it you know over a little period of time um, it doesn't take as it doesn't take as long to get a lot of views on porn as it does on YouTube trust me uh, you'll get a lot especially if you're a new person and your videos half decent and you got a good thought like same as YouTube you got a good thumbnail of it and everything. One dollar and five dollar. He's only got two levels. But look how many Patreons. Five thousand one hundred and sixty Patreons. And this is monthly. I've told you guys this before in a previous video. I've showed I've showed you other people that do this exact same. So it's not one person. You know, it's not two. It's not five. This is a lot of people. Um, this is enough. Like I said, Patreon. Put a stop to these people some years ago. You can you can search for it and read about it if you want. And they found out that these people <laughs> were pretty much supporting them. Um, so they brought them back. You know, it, it took a little bit of, of fussing and bickering and moaning and everything, but also on their part, they realized how much of a re, you know how much of an income source this was to them. And you're going to see why right here. This is. Uh, you know, senpai or whatever. <laughs> Some of these names are out there. But, you know, here's another one. $1, $5, and $10. 860 Patreons. You know. And like I said, let's take the $1 level. You know, the other guy was $5,000 a month. This guy's $860 a month. Even at the $1 level. Say no one is getting the 5 and, and you know you know there is. You know there's people getting the 5 and $10 one. For the, for the added extra, you know, there's no watermark. Uh, suggest your idea for an animation, you know, and, and polls. They take polls. The $5 level gets 4K version animations and 1080 high definition, longer animations. So, you know, he's getting people from here, but, you know, $860 a month, just if yeah, everybody's at the $1 level. I mean... Here we got one, five, fifteen, and twenty-five dollar level for this person here. Not as big, 134 Patreons, but still 134. And you know, look, the 3D, you know, it's it's, it's beginner level, you know. And I've seen some of these guys' video, this guy's video too, you know. And it's the same thing. Everything's beginner level with, with his video, you know, the animation, the rigging, and everything. But it works, you know. It's porn. You're not watching, you know. You're not watching Star Wars here, you know, or, or reading, you know, an, an in-depth storyline novel or anything. You know, you're you're just watching 3D sex. That's it. Here's another one, Zordo. One, three, five, seven, and ten. So he's he's got five five levels, all under ten dollars. So he's going for the cheaper crowd. You know, access to polls. He actually does VR animations also at the $3 level. And look at that. 525 Patreons that, that he has. What's he at? He's in Venezuela. He's a Venezuelan designer. So making this kind of money living in Venezuela? Yeah. That is good money right there, boy. I am telling you. And here, all FS3D. 
Again, 771 Patreons. You know, adult content only, 18 persons over. He's also got a subscribe star. As, as I do, I got a subscribe star also. But, um, and right here, VG Erotica. This is one of the big guys on the uh, internet. And this girl right here has gotten really famous. You can tell by her uh, black face patch, you know, that goes like this over her nose. You'll, if, you, if you spend time in 3D porn, you're going to see this girl a lot. Um, as they say, she gets the rounds. And look, 2,400 or 2,045 Patreons that he has. Four levels under $10. So, with all of that, I've shown you guys what's up. <laughs> you know, you told me that, you know, I needed to do another video. And I'll cover the, you know, how it's going, you know, so far versus how, you know, back when, you know, two months ago or whatever when I first made the porn videos. Because that's what really kicked off my channel. And this is where everything's at now. For those of you that have stayed this long, there are a couple of issues. This has been brought up on the Discord. On the Blender Sith uh, Patreon channel. We do have an issue going on over there. Because right now the videos that I have up are on my website uh, membership in there because we seem to be having well everybody seems to be well not everybody small people and what I mean by small uh, probably a big majority of Vimeo's uh, audience are in a war right now with Vimeo because you know it's 2022 you know we understand you know the economy has changed and stuff and Vimeo is used by a lot of people for the videos that are on Patreon. Because, you know, you can lock the videos down. People can't download them. You know, I mean, there's a whole bunch of features. You know, you get better statistics and all that stuff. But it costs, you know, money. And uh, there's been a lot of people that have been fine with Vimeo. But apparently, they're changing business plans and only going for the large big time corporate customers and they've been sending out notices to all the smaller you know people and, and by small I mean people that are you know paying you know three thousand four thousand dollars a month you know because of the bandwidth that, that they're using and they're getting uh, notices that their services are going to be stopped unless they you know pay a, a different pay tier because the bandwidth is just costing Vimeo too much. This goes into five figures. Some of these people have been asked to pay twelve, thirteen thousand dollars a month for the bandwidth that they're using, and you know they're they're taking it as you know that's just a flat out you know they don't want you to pay it. That's just a flat out you know them telling you to get the hell out of here, basically. That's all that is. And they're probably right. You know, like I said, they're going you know for the big you know the. You know, the Disney, Netflix, you know, the the big corporate dollars is what they're going for. And, you know, that's, I don't know how that's going to work out, how that's going to play out. So, I'm wondering, you know, I'm trying to figure out what I'm going to do with uh, just the, the, the video delivery on, uh, you know, because I don't want to go with YouTube, even unlisted, you know, YouTube, because you know, it's still going to be ads, you know, there's, there's going to be ads in it, you know, and everything, and you know, I just don't think that's right for people that are paying. You know, even if it is a dollar or three dollars a month, you know, they shouldn't be, they shouldn't have to see ads. You know, to watch you know the content there. But um, I guess like always, we'll do a poll in the Discord and uh, find out you know what people think. But um, you know, and even these guys, you know, I've talked to some of these you know people doing the porn here and stuff and. You know they're they're sticking to it because it's not in effect yet. You know they still got a couple of months before uh, Vimeo will start kicking and start doing stuff. But um, yeah, they're they're also thinking on on what to do also. But with that, we're gonna if you know for those of those for those serious ones that are still here and got that information, um, we'll be shutting this down now for for now and. Uh, I will see you guys the next uh, video that comes out. Like I said, I'm busy. I got a lot going on, especially with the Vimo thing here. 
and my Patreon, but I got, there's a lot more going on, so we'll see you on the next video. <laughs> Whenever that is, we'll see. But anyway, thanks for watching, and don't forget to hit that subscribe button and click that bell so you can be notified of the videos, because now there's really no telling when one's going to come out. But, um, yeah, do that. We'll catch you later.